Hello everybody and welcome back to another Oxygen Included tutorial. Today we're going to talk about closed loop bathroom toilet, shower, and carbon scrubber systems, really. Also closed loop bathrooms. You just, you just call it closed loop bathrooms. It's easiest that way. And uh, this is more of a beginner tutorial, but people have requested it and hopefully um, it helps some of you on your, ox uh, your asteroid adventures and you stop wasting tons and tons of water so what is the problem with bathrooms inherently not too much but the problem is bathrooms produce a lot of polluted water like a lot of polluted water every time you duplicates use a sink a bathroom or a shower they make polluted water and you can't really do anything with polluted water you can't use it for research you can't obviously you can't use it for cooking you can't use it um for watering crops unless you the the crops that you need uh that you want actually use polluted water then go ahead be feel free but um yeah it, especially at the beginning of the game they make a lot of polluted water that you can't really do anything with that then makes polluted oxygen which is technically fine but then if you've got slime lung creeping into your base it's just not worth it it's just not worth it because um yeah you you don't actually need to actively supply bathrooms with water so how does this work how does it work so as you can see i've done a little setup here three toilets three sinks um tubes go in they go and wash their hands on the way out uh we primed this with water from our supply down here so it just goes up in here this was connected we primed the sinks and the bathrooms and then we just disconnected it and um yeah so what happens when duplicates actually use the bathroom well this happens they they happily walk along go in here um and they use the toilet they look really really sad but then really happy and yeah we just get polluted water coming out of the the toilets and the sinks so this polluted water will go into the water sieve so um it's just 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 what it does and the water sieve turns it back into water so one thing to know about the water sieve if you've never played around with it the water sieve only changes the type of liquid the water sieve does not affect the germ count of germs in the water so don't think of polluted water as germy water just think of it as a different type of liquid because you can very well have polluted water that has no germs in it but at the same time you can have water that has germs in it so this polluted water that's coming out of these um toilets and sinks it has food poison on it because it comes out of their you know it's pee basically it's pee and dirty hand water like you know they wash their hands after using the toilet so yeah this this has uh germs on it so this the water sieve only changes it from polluted water into water so this water that's comes that comes out of here that still has polluted uh, that still has food poison on it um but that's fine because somehow magically if even if the duplicates wash their hands and shower in water that has food poison germs on it they still don't actually get it and the food poison doesn't magically appear somewhere on their body it's just not how it works <laughs> it's it's oxygen included magic that's just not how it works so how does the system work well as we said polluted water comes out here goes into the sieve gets turned into water as i've stated in my infinite gas st uh, storage tutorial bridges act as also as priority so the water will always go back in here and fill up the system so um you ask why do i have this with the containers well so toilets always produce more water than you put into them out of the pipe because it's the flush plus the duplicates p so you always get a little bit more water out of it than you put into it so that's why we have the overflow storage that goes this way um you could technically store the you know the polluted water if you wanted to but we're just we're just turning it straight into water and we're just storing the excess water so that's basically already the closed loop system that's that's already a closed loop system you can then extend it if you want to like for example i could just grab uh showers put them here 
and then just fill them with the, with the water so i would do what i would do is not quite as ugly as this but basically this i would just fill them and then take the ugly uh the pollute water out and put that back into this and then this would now go up that way and fill these two so it would just back up so we would not get any extra for quite a while just to see you know you, the system is extendable so you can put more showers on it you can put more things on it you can put more toilets on it uh you can also run your carbon skimmer with this water uh if you if you ever put one on it and then just you know circle that around as well um but yeah we do need the overflow storage because as i said there's always a little bit more water coming out of the toilets than you put into the toilets out of the pipe that is um it's not the same it's not true for sinks or showers or carbon skimmers because they they just you know they you just wash your hands you don't pee in the sink i mean some people probably do but the duplicates do not <laughs> they're not that gross <laughs> which is good so this is our overflow storage um you can decide what you want to do with them you can just put it into a tank and wait because food poison will slowly die in normal water what i did because i got really lucky i had a pocket of chlorine gas right here so i'm just chucking the water into a into one of the liquid reservoirs that you can get in the in the game and uh, so the water goes in here as you can see it says water and it says there's a little bit of food poisoning in it because we just put food poison stuff in it but fun fact because it is surrounded by chlorine if you click on the water and then the germs tab as you can see the change rate is minus 254 per second because it's surrounded by chlorine so we're basically just killing the germs off immediately so we actually get super fresh water out of this so this water we can actually later on use again for cooking or research or whatever because like we basically kill 100 percent of germs every cycle so this is actually pretty fresh water and it doesn't even take very long because yeah one day like 24 hours or one cycle later it's just going to be gone so that is a this is a really super easy system to not waste waste water and you actually get a little bit of water back um that you can use because especially in the beginning you will you will either do mush bars or meal loaf they all use water so basically the pea is you know the, the pea is clay's way of giving you the water that you use to make the food that's their way of giving it back to you so that's why there's a little bit extra and this way you get this water and you can then use as soon as the food poison is dead in it you can just use this water again for cooking or for doing research or whatever you want to use the water for so that is basically a closed loop bathroom system uh that is basically external internally extendable the only thing you need is sand and power obviously for this the only thing that needs to get powered in this entire thing is the is the water sieve oh now look at them now they're having a shower um that also makes you know more dirty water and it just goes and goes and goes um and it'll just fill up the system uh so that's cool uh nice little tidbit if you've watched till the end of the video i highly recommend putting a freaking um nature reserve right in front of your bathroom it's a great morale bonus it is super easy to do because what you do is you pick a spot for your bathroom where you've got lots and lots of plants and before you just make it a room put a park sign into it once you've researched it and then plonk it into your bathroom before your bathroom because your duplicants will visit the bathroom once per cycle and thus they will run through the through the nature reserve and get the mood bonus which is really nice you can do the same with a bedroom by the way Thank you so much for watching till the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.